What's up guys? It's been a while since I did a bash tutorial and I actually just realized after I hit record that I really can't call this a bash tutorial anymore since I recently switched from using bash to Z shell as my primary shell. But this is still a shell scripting tutorial. Everything that I've shown you so far and moving forward is going to be valid syntax in both Bash and Z shell. It's pretty much agnostic to whichever shell you're using. So we can continue on with this as a shell scripting uh, tutorial playlist. So today I'm going to show you guys the break and continue statements. These are flow control statements used to break out of or stay within a loop. So I've got this script here. Let me go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so everyone can see. I also changed the color scheme up a bit because I know uh, the colors I had before, like the dark red on the dark gray was kind of hard to read. So I hope this is better. Let me know in the comments below if it is better. But here uh, we can see that we've got a script where we're defining the variable i, we're making it equal to zero. And then down here, we have a while loop. So we're saying, well, i is less than 19. We're going to do this down here. So we're echoing uh, i. Well, actually, we're echoing the string number. And then we're echoing the integer value i. And then we're incrementing it by one. And then we have this if statement here. So if i is equal to seven, then break, finish. And then we're done with the script. Well, actually down here, this final echo statement is when we're really done with the script. This here is just when we're done with the loop. So let's go ahead and see this in action now. Let me actually make this prompt bigger as well. So we can see here that it printed the number 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 6, and then it printed all done because this break statement broke out of the loop. Now, you might be thinking, um, is this break statement actually necessary? Couldn't we just have a blank thing here? Like, couldn't we just do, well, we can't have a blank thing because, um, Z shell and bash is going to complain if you just have something empty. So let's just put echo. Uh, nothing comment out our break statement and see what will happen. Do you think that this is going to do the same thing as Not having the break statement there Well sure enough it doesn't see it actually printed out all the rest of our numbers and then it just had uh, This blank space here that was caused by echo because even though we didn't put anything here um, Echo still uh, implicitly puts a new line character there anyway because what this break is doing so it's not just breaking out of this if statement here it's also breaking out of this while loop that the if statement is nested within because that's the purpose of break it's meant to break loops not just if statements so it's not the same as just having uh nothing so let's get rid of that and then let's comment out the script Actually, I need to do it from here. And then let's uncomment this. So now this is the continue statement and we have a similar, well, pretty much the same um, shell syntax here. So while i is less than 19, do this. And the syntax is formatted differently, but it does the same thing. I just did that to show you guys that the formatting doesn't matter so much. You can do a one-liner like this, or you can do a multi-liner like that, whatever works for you. And then we're incrementing i by one, and then if i equals two, then continue, finish, done, and then we have our final echo statement here. So let's see continue in action. So what it did here is you see how we have the number one and then it jumps to the number three. So it's doing a similar thing to break in that it's not is it's um, interrupting the flow, right? Like it's not actually printing out all the numbers, but continue doesn't break out of the loop like break does. It just continues past, hence the name. 
uh, the point where you put it in. So if you don't want to actually exit out of your while loop or exit out of your script, and you just want to pass by a particular condition, then the continue statement is perfect for that. So this is how you use a break and continue statements in shell scripting. Feel free to integrate this into your shell scripts and also share this video with a friend, a colleague, or a complete stranger so that they can improve their shell scripts as well.